Hello and welcome. Today Alibaba announced their financial results for this quarter. So in this video I'm going to explain what they have told us and what it means for our investment. If you don't know me already I'm Wayne from WES Investments bringing you stock market news, portfolio updates and training on how to make money in the market all on this channel. So if you're new here consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified of my new videos. Now the boring bits first, I'm not a financial professional, this is not financial advice. Everyone's financial situation is different and you should not consider this or any video that you find on YouTube as financial advice. Now, as expected, Alibaba delivered excellent results. This parks quarter, they really capitalised on the potential of the global pandemic. And a part of that was the cloud computing revenue, which grew 59% year over year which was roughly a whopping $1.75 billion, that's in one quarter. Now obviously earnings are in RMB, so they are then converted to US dollars for ease, and that's why I've said roughly, okay, because obviously we all understand the value of US dollar, or most of us do, but then trying to convert it from an RMB can be quite difficult, so going forward most of these results I will give you in US dollars. I'll give you a couple in RMB just uh, just for relevance. So in the quarter that ended on June the 30th, 2020, revenue was, and I'll give you this in RMB first, 153.75 billion, which in US dollars is 21.76 billion, which is an increase of 34% year over year, giving Alibaba an EBITDA of $6.4 billion for the quarter which contributed to non-GAAP diluted earnings per share of 26 cents, so that's $0.26, which is an increase of 18% year over year. Annual active consumers on the Chinese retail marketplaces reached 742 million, which is an increase of 16 million from the 12 month period ended March the 31st. Mobile MAUs, which is monthly active users, on the China retail marketplaces also climbed and that reached 874 million by the end of June, which is an increase of 26 million from March. Alibaba has so many different platforms and services that it would take me all day to go over each one of them individually, but there are a few points that I wanted to highlight going forward. So as of the 30th of June 2020, Alibaba operated 214 Freshippo stores in China. Now these are Alibaba's high-tech supermarkets. Alibaba is also working on its collaboration with Sunart through their omni-channel solutions for grocery partners. This partnership uses Alibaba's technology to allow Sunart's supermarkets to offer half-day deliveries from their store picked units. This has accounted for around 15% of Sunart's revenue, so a very valuable service. Lazada, and I hope I've pronounced that right, is an example of a e-commerce site that Alibaba owns, which is based in Singapore, but also covers a number of countries in that region of the world. That website grew its sales by 100% over the quarter. Talking about the cloud now, so according to IDC, Alibaba Cloud was the largest public cloud service provider in China as measured by market share for IaaS, which is Infrastructure as a Service, as well as PaaS, which is Platform as a Service, for the quarter which ended March 31st. So obviously this is technically last quarter um, that these results came out but we're only just catching that now. The ultra large scale database has been ranked the world's fastest real-time data warehouse solution for the second straight year. We also have Yuku, again I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Yuku's daily average subscriber base increased by over 60% year over year during the quarter. So as you can see there's quite a lot that's going on and like I say I've just cherry picked a few of the very kind of top bits off of there. There is some really really great news coming out for Alibaba not just with this quarter but also based on this quarter what we can expect to see in the coming quarters. 
So there's still a lot of growth opportunities here and I'm still very much long on this stock. We will hold it in our portfolio for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to keep an eye out for my next Alibaba video, which is currently in production and will be a full business analysis. And I'll see you in my next video.